hey guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking on this video now if you're new we do movie and series reviews even though i'm kind of kind down on the series reviews because i haven't seen any series reviews but then we are also incorporating just a little bit more game content just a little bit actually just uploaded um our challenge video 50 games in one week that we completed i don't know check it out we'll put it over here so today we came to see top gun maverick we just got out of the theater this one ladies and gentlemen jet lagged and all just got home from Roma and that's why she looks a mess and I just look shitty cuz that's just how I look in general anywho Top Gun Maverick I honestly just saw Top Gun for the first time this past weekend surprisingly she saw it before she's seen it twice um okay so we are I don't know what is it 30 years right maybe from the original one yeah, um we are picking Maverick right back up well not right back up but we left him he's 30 years <laughs> from where we left him where his story is continuing of course this is just our quick after the theater thoughts that was just kind of like a little uh, on the original tied into this one but not really too much because you know that's not that's not how we roll here you know we're just like you know what let's tell you about this movie so what did y'all think about the movie i i, I like the first part so i was like I was like, ooh. I was excited for it. And the trailer seemed like it was giving out a lot. I got emotional. I got emotional. I was all like, because I was remembering the first part and then I could feel Tom Cruise's energy. He was mm -hmm. he was giving the energy that it, sh it, it was supposed to give and mm -hmm. it was awesome. Like, I didn't cry, but I was like, oh no, your pain. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. I really liked what's his face. I don't. I don't know people's names, but Rooster. The, yeah. Oh, I was talking about his real name. But oh, Miles like, Teller. I feel like he really looked like the dad, and with yes. his mustache. I just cannot get jiggy with that mustache, but it, it does resemble the yeah. dad. Like, I really liked how it opened, just like the first part. Yeah. That's like the only spoiler role gift, because it's not really like a spoiler. It's just the yeah. beginning part of it. I really enjoyed it. I did tear up on several spots, even though they didn't really do the flashbacks. I could really totally mm -hmm. see the flashbacks. Mm -hmm. They only did one, but you could really see it, like even in the way he, the certain parts of it, the way. He, he just kind of looked mm -hmm. at a rooster. You could just see it. I just really enjoyed it. They kept true to the character because, you know, sometimes with second ones, they just mess up the whole character. Yeah. And it was nice to know what happens to some of the other characters mm -hmm. from the first part. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. I had, I had already seen Top Gun way back then. <laughs> But I did see it several weeks back. I'm a little jet lag, so I didn't remember a lot of stuff right now. <laughs> so yeah, Desiree actually did a really, really yes. good job explaining and giving all the points of Bravo. So because I, I actually watched the first part yeah. and I really loved it. Yeah. So you, you would give it the first part of five out of five, or um, I would give it. I think I gave it a four point five. Four point five. Yeah. Way higher than it. I only give it a, a, a three out of five. Uh, this is definitely one, so you can really get the emotional value and the torment that maverick is going to you do need to watch the first yes. one i guess you don't necessarily have to but if you want to get that you want to understand where he is in yeah. his life and mentally and everything you should really watch the first one um it has killer soundtrack and stuff like the music and everything hangman was a bit more like asshole -y oh yeah compared to iceman because like I, yeah. iceman was just very like strict on the rules and stuff like he was like you're 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 a danger zone. I'm actually just gonna leave it there because like I said, this story did very very well with the description. It's really really good. The time goes by really fast, and like sometimes you'll be like holding on and you're like oh my god, like I feel like I was in the G Force part. I'm like oh my god, I will pass out. But yeah, it was. It's really really good. Definitely one of my favorite movies of of the year so far. I uh, will see if it makes it to the end of the year, but we're gonna leave it like that before. Oh. I like how it ends. It ends like those lovey old timey movies. Yes. Yeah. Before we give you our score, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time to post something new. I'm pretty sure we're all in agreement, so we're just gonna see it all together on three. Uno, dos, tres. Large. Large. We still were in sync. <laughs> if you've seen Top Gun Maverick, let us know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Have you seen the original? Um, if you haven't are you planning on watching before checking this out i definitely feel like you should um if you would like to get more out of it um unfortunately you're only gonna have a few more days to catch it on netflix i believe i saw when i saw it this weekend that uh, may 31st is gonna be the last day that's on netflix and that is it until next time see you guys at concessions bye